Welcome back to the Scheming and Dreaming Pod. If you're looking to get some merchandise, we got all the essentials you need. Hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, I got a few, be like me. The link will be in the episode description and in our Instagram bio, at Scheming and Dreaming Pod. Or hit us up at snackspot.se slash creator slash teespring.com. And if you're interested in advertising on this show or a twin show, Two in the Cooler, email snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond and grow some inches on your penis. <laughs> that was that, that, that was rock. Go. <laughs> Let's go. No, we can't say anything about it. Welcome back to the Scheming and Dreaming Pod. Hope you guys are out there enjoying Pride Month doing your thing. We're like doing each other. <laughs> Am I right? It was just a setup. Doing the same thing. <laughs> oh, I wish people would call in and we had like a tally for what I know. I really want to do an episode where we just answer like fan questions. <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. What the fuck did you just drop? My keys. I about to say, it made a weird noise. My penis fell <laughs> off. I have to put it back on. It's prosthetic. <laughs> Mine's just attached to my keychain. Really? Yeah. So, uh, your girlfriend was out of town for a week. How's your dick doing? <laughs> Hurt. <laughs> what does it look like? Describe it. Describe it to me. Small, timid. Scared. Imagine like that skinny kid in middle school that doesn't play any sports. You could tell he has a bad home life. That's my penis right now. I feel like your if your dick could walk, it would. It would walk. <laughs> it would walk straight to a group home, <laughs> or like um like a recovery clinic. Yeah, just like a, get, like a domestic like abuse place. It would just need some boxing. Then it'll be right back on its feet. Jesus. Um. So uh, what have you been doing? What have you been up to? How's life? I was I was being I was having an apartment to yourself. You get bored? Dude, I was fucking terribly bored. I didn't go grocery shopping at all. You're just living off the land. Living off Subway. God damn it, dude. Ew. Yep. Subway's gross. It's not that bad. It's gross. If Jared didn't do those things, it wouldn't be that bad. It would still be bad. Just double meat, double dude, cheese? Dude, a court deemed that Subway's bread isn't actually bread. They're bread hits. It's not real bread. It's too sugary to be considered bread. So what the fuck is it? I don't. Uh, nobody knows, and they also the tuna. No one knows. Yeah, they have no idea. What if that you get is. tuna at Subway, though, you're a fucking serial killer. That's true. Like I got an Amber Alert today, and I don't know who took the kid, but I guarantee you, he gets tuna from Subway. It might have been Jared. <laughs> it probably is he out yet? <laughs> who knows? He might escape. I got faith in him. Um, See him prison break. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, I was on TikTok this one time, uh-huh. and so there's this guy. Who works at McDonald's and like all of his like TikToks are him in like first person. Like he's a heavy dude. Yeah. Like you can tell by his arms and stuff. Yeah. He and he's just like loves making sandwiches at McDonald's. And someone was like, How have you been working at McDonald's for? He's like, fifteen years, I won't trade it for the world. And someone was like, You're a real life NPC. <laughs> 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 it's one of the craziest insults I've ever heard. You know that dude's making twelve fifty an hour. Yeah, he loves it though. Go for him. Everybody lives in his mom's basement, just beats his meat, eat McDo- eats McDonald's. And- it's a good diet. Is McDonald's... That could have been you, though. I know. I was there for three months. Yeah, if you didn't hate shit It your is beard. a fun job. I will say that much. Really? Not that bad. Somebody would always bring in, like, a bottle of Jack, and then with McDonald's, like, Sprite and McDonald's Coke is undefeated. Just mix it with some McDonald's Coke. What you are they putting the McDonald's shit. Sprite? Do you know the secrets? Um... A little bit of pre-workout. Okay. A little bit of cocaine. Okay. A little bit of black tar heroin. Okay. And then 80% Sprite. That's not bad. Yeah. That's why it tastes so good. I agree. Um, There's something I need to talk about. And it's... This is going to take you for a huge loop. Okay. Is it the time travel thing again? No. This is... This is wilder. So, there's this YouTuber I like, Moist Critical... And I don't even care. I'm going to shout him out because he's a fucking king. And but he's the best YouTuber. No free ads. Yeah. But he is currently, <laughs> he's like, he always watches really shitty stuff too. Uh-huh. And like, he chooses and he plays like video. Like, is he, he the guy that sues? No, he's the one I found the guy that sues. <laughs> okay. 
Damn. So he pl- he plays a lot of shitty video games too, and he's just so worth watching because he's hilarious. Mm-hmm. But he is watching currently. He found a like like a IMDb of like animes. Okay. So he's watching the shittiest anime TV shows ever made. Okay. And he watched this entire season of these two sisters. And he, like, shows clips of them. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. It was, like, something Sisters. And it was, like, the seventh worst rated anime. Because, like, he said a lot of them are, like, sex things. Like... Yeah. Like, there'll be, like, 30 seconds of, like, a girl squirting out, like, like ping pong balls out of her, a- out of her asshole. Okay. Like, that'll be, like, it's something. He's, like, it's very disturbing to watch. He's, he watches all of it. It's, like, porn TikTok. Yeah, he said it's super weird, but... um. The one season he watched, it was these two girls, and they had massive mommy milkers, and okay. they get, like, danger signals through their nipples, and it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever Could seen. Could they become turn signals? No, it's like, you know, they, like, work for their government or whatever, Okay. and the way they get alerted that they have a mission is through their tits. Like, their nipples start vibrating and, like, making a noise. And it was, I know the dude that made that is 400 pounds. And they, at the end of each episode, they like the whole season. He said is basically them trying to steal something from the girls' tits, like these two people. Okay. And they always solve every episode with their tits, and that's how every episode ends. That sounds beautiful. It's, it was insane. I watched I watched the clips that he showed of it, and I can't believe it. How long are the episodes? He said they like they're shorter, which is good. It's like because, ten minutes. Yeah, he said that he watched like, like real like shitty anime shows, and those ones are like half hour, and he was like, oh, "Hell." We watched the entire thing. That's so, how I found Attaway General too. Which oh, is like the Addison Ray, yeah. No, it was Charlie. De- <laughs> oh, even worse. Dixie D'Amelio. Dixie D'Amelio. Same thing. They're the same person in yeah. my eyes. That show was terrible. I watched the whole first season of that. I don't know how. Did they get re up for a second? They do have a second, but it wasn't on Tubi. <laughs> get it on Tubi. Yeah, we want more Attaway General. Tubi's listening. <laughs> we need more Attaway General. You need to watch some because it is so funny. I got to check it out. They have the greatest doctor ever. He fucking, this guy, one of the, so I'm no doctor. I don't, I'm not medically cleared on that, but there was this one scene in that that I just couldn't stop laughing at. This guy comes in. The whole hospital's in awe. They re- re- they wheel him in, and he's covered in burns. <laughs> and the, he's, like, freaking out. And he was like, oh, my house was on fire. I was about to die. And the doctor, you know, the guy that solved uh, cancer with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, he comes up, and he uh, gives the guy, like, an IV. He's like, he should be good now. <laughs> I feel like it's Dr. It was the only time you see him in the entire episode. I he, w- he like put a needle in the guy's arm that was just covered in burns. <laughs> and then he cured it. That's definitely Doctor House. I've never really seen that show. That dude was insane. People like that show though. Yeah, I don't understand it. I watched like an episode or two. Great doctor though. I don't know. Give I- me the worst people on earth. Like what type of people are the worst? Because mine is pe- non Asian people who love anime. I think Star Wars fans are pretty bad. Like I like Star Wars. Yeah, but people. Like, there's this... So, I started watching that new Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Okay. And there's this African-American woman. Like, so her character makes no sense being in the show. Yeah. But people are, like, so fucking, like, aggressive, like, towards the actress. Like, they're, like... Like, she had to turn off fucking... Yeah. Her, uh... Co- like, she had to delete her Instagram because people the, were just... Well, the people want to make Star Wars white again. I mean, like, it, like even if she was white... Um, they just hate the It still wouldn't make sense. Because, like... So I don't know if you ever saw the old Star Wars movies, like the prequels with Natalie Portman. But like Yeah, I watched the old school ones. Yeah, those ones. So like the only people that knew that Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader. Yeah. Was Obi Wan Kenobi, Anakin and the Emperor. Yeah. And somehow she knows it. And and then I only watched the first two episodes, but like she shouldn't know it. Like it's just a Didn't Obi Wan fall in love with Padme? So that would make Anakin right to kill him? He might have, but I still don't think he should have killed those kids. <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> yeah, Shut up, that part was a little dark. Fuck. Oh, people who uh, <laughs> put mayo on everything. Like, a lot of mayo. I like mayo. 
but I play everything. you know the aggressive mayo people. Yeah. They're up there for the worst people on earth. Same with like pickles and onions. I don't know. Some people like no. Furries are pretty weird to me. What? Like, furries. Furries are odd. Like you, you like what you like, but like I, I still have no idea if they have sex in the costume or outside. Yeah. Or why do you have to go shopping I'm at a white up men's with it? right now? Emily, what's your least favorite type of person? Um, um that's not where I watched that. White dog moms. Oh. <laughs> like not people who have dogs, but like people who like baby their dogs and their dog is like shitty. <laughs> Oh, like Chihuahua owners? They're like, he's friendly, I swear. <laughs> and then he just... <laughs> they, like, growl at you. Like, he's already killed a couple dogs already. So, all the furries I'm seeing are animated. Do furries exist? Oh, God. Why do you do this to yourself? Oh, my God. Play it for the camera. I don't know, dude. This is... Emily, no. put a disclaimer. He's putting it on. No, we're going to have to censor this. He's putting it on. Let the boys watch. Hey, hold on. Two weeks ago, he watched a man's asshole. Right. Doing the same well, thing. So you lost on the wheel before we even got in here, so you can watch four minutes of this. All right, put it on. Wait, do I have to, do I have to put it on mute? Uh, yeah, I would. Right. Can you put it on one volume? And we could talk over it. Yeah, could we on one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because I wanna, I wanna listen a little bit. Probably won't get picked up. Here you go, King. <laughs> this is your glory. Horny potion, fifty percent off. You want me to narrate it? Yeah. Why don't you give us a spin on it? All right. A fox is on the computer. I I watched a little clip before. You know how like. Oh, she clicked. Oh, she's playing PS Five. You know how in like Pornhub you can click, like you can see sneak previews of videos, like still images. Yeah. Yeah, I saw some still images. This this takes a turn, gang. Oh, delivery. Let's just say she's part of the Korean team. Oh, what the heck? Dude, this is like Rufy. He's roofing her with Horny Potion. I, I don't know. I. She yeah. asked for a Coke. Dude, <laughs> this is getting... Oh, we got plot. I feel like that's just a purple bottle that says Horny. Yeah, it's not a cola. She wanted a cola. Can't she read? No, she didn't look. He just ch made her chug it. Is it getting weird yet? It's about to. They're about to go to the room. The horny potion. Yeah, now it's. Now we're in the nitty it's gritty. Taking a turn. Now we're in the nitty gritty. <laughs> oh my god. All right, good form so far. Yeah, he's stroking that shit. <laughs> the main thing is, I'm happy I'm not erect. <laughs> yeah. If I was hard to this, dude, they've been going all day. What do you mean? Did the, the, the it showed the time, 2354. They're in military time. <laughs> this is a good way to promote military time, though. Shout out to all our uh, soldiers. Yeah, oh, you my know what? God, we love the troops. That's gross. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> it had to be under 10 minutes. That bro, fox but, is oh. long. <laughs> Really? Well, now there's two of them. <laughs> Another one came in? Another, or she's just seeing shit. She's on the... She's on the horn. She's trying to drink more of the horny potion to get going for two guys now. Is there more? Yep, the horny potion. Extra copies, extra cum, extra love. Now there's two of them. Would you ever drink a horny potion? Uh, Wait. She's looking like she's having the time of her life. So, Yeah. Yep, now it's turning into three, two dudes. You're going to be seeing this shit when you close your eyes. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hope not. I did see in the sneak preview that there was more than one penis. <laughs> <laughs> I love the transitions. Like the clouds popping up and then there's just another dick in her mouth. May I just say that <laughs> these foxes have nutted about 12 times in the three minutes. Really? Maybe they need to drink the honey potion next, huh? What do you oh, think? yeah. Now there's... Is that three foxes or four? <laughs> this is get... Dude, there's people that, like, get off to this. Yeah, and you're one of them now. Welcome I am. to the community. I'm wearing gray sweats and totally flaccid. Really? Well, I don't think your dick can get up if it wanted to anymore. 
Yeah, it's like a fucking uh, kid in high school getting up for school. <laughs> Once in a while, it'll feel like it, but <laughs> most times... It's, it's the golden gun, okay? <laughs> you get one shot. <laughs> Dude, they've been going... Oh, that's... Oh, that's seven hours. I wonder how many times they've nutted. Nope. Oh, that should be a good example. Oh, God. Ew. It's like... Ew. Dude, this... Is kind of scarring me for life. I think I told this story about when I played on when I was at Omegle. Oh, she's going back to the computer. Round two. And then someone hit her in the head with a bat at the end of it. Oh, I took a turn. Is the video over? They have a yep. They have a Patreon too. <laughs> I got clear all. The I'm history. putting on. The, oh no no no! Screenshot the Patreon. That's going on the wheel. You have to donate money to that Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Screenshot it. That's going on the wheel. Huh, Ten I bucks to the Patreon. How do I restart it? Dude, you do not want to. Well, I'm just trying to screenshot the Patreon. Oh, do I gotta scroll back all the way through? I'm not doing that. It's disgusting. The whole page was disgusting. There was just so much shit that was just so I might change my answer. Maybe anime people are kinda cool. You think so? It's not my cup of tea. I never want to drink what's in that cup, but good for them. So I'll go with overly Catholic people. Overly Catholic? I was thinking, like, Mormons kind of suck. Overly religious people. Because they... You know Mormons can't celebrate their birthday? Does their birthday matter if they're Mormon? Can't celebrate their birthday. They can't drink caffeine. Well, you can't drink in general. Yeah. You have to be up by... How do you celebrate a birthday without drinking? Like, what do they... Like, what part of life do they enjoy? True. You know? Sleeping, I guess, because then they're done praying. Yeah, being a Mormon would suck. That's got to be probably the worst religion out there, right? To be Scientology sucks. But if you're if like you're in the Scientology thing, I get. I think it's better than being a Mormon. Yeah, you could drink. You just have to donate a bunch of money. L. Ron Hubba Bumba. <laughs> L. Ron Hubba Bubba. <laughs> That's what Eric Andre said. L. Ron. <laughs> Hubbard was actually black. Hell around Hell of Bombay. <laughs> was he? Yeah, no. That would... They had that guy go, I'm actually Jesus. And then he goes, turn that wine into <laughs> poop. <Turn> that... <laughs> that show's off the fucking rails. That's like one of the best shows ever made, I think. I'm trying to find out how I'm mentally going to recoup from watching. It's just playing in my head. What, the video? Yeah. Is it is it warming up to you? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I blink, I'm seeing it. You see it just fox penises? Yeah, I'm not going to look at uh, foxes ever again the same. <laughs> I remember, I think I told this story when I was at Chuck E. Cheese, and um, it was like our Halloween party. It was like my first day back after my knee surgery. You're talking about the, the furry. Yeah, and one of the furry people we worked with, she came in her costume for the Halloween party. Dude, and our boy Evan was in the... Uh, Chuck E. Cheese suit. They definitely hooked up. And she kept trying to go near him to dance with him. Like, every time he was in the suit. And he would just push her. And then one day he said, get the fuck away. While he's in the suit. She was on the horny potion. <laughs> she wanted to fuck. She wanted to fuck Chucky. She, like, tried to bring home. You yeah. know the animatronic one in yeah. the back? She tried to bring it home. Like she asked our general manager if she could take She's it. still working there? Yeah. Lifer. Yeah, she's a lifer. Well, it's just, there's too much too much shit to turn around for her to leave. You, you know? know, there's my who's back of the week. Lifers. Lifers at jobs? Yeah. Like at Tim Hortons or... Yeah, t- like, at, especially at like, like a Chuck E. Cheese. Like if it's like... like fast a, food lifers. Yeah, like a shitty job and you're a lifer. That's my who's back. That's one of mine. Your asshole is My back. hemorrhoids are back. Hemorrhoids are back for sure. So what... Take me through it. What, what's going on with your, with your butthole? Well, I took 10 poops. Yesterday? Full poops, yeah, up until today in like a 12, maybe a 24-hour span. Were they bloody? Yeah, it gets that way. The irritation and the hemorrhoids. So piss baths are also back. Yeah, that's got to be in there too. It's three who's backs. Uh, Maple Jordan. And Maple Jordan. So we got, yeah. Career high rebounds. So, wait, no, take us back to the piss baths. I'm not glancing over that. What, like, is your asshole, like... When you try and pee, is your asshole bleed? No, it's just there's so much pressure in there, you can't get going to pee. So how many baths did you take? 
Was yesterday the first day you brought back piss baths? Yeah, I brought it back after like poop four or five. But it's like you're cutting weight because you're just laying in a hot tub. How long do you usually wait? Do you wait until you're done pissing or do you and get out or do you just... I've, I've Sometimes I just give up and I try to fall asleep in the tub. In a pool of your own piss? Urine is sterile. <laughs> I don't know, man. That seems kind of gross to me. It's not fun. I'm not proud of it. Would you recommend it to anybody else? Yeah, if you're trying to have fun, why not? It's just the cards I was dealt. With a bad asshole. Dude, that's that's the kryptonite. What do you think causes hemorrhoids? Uh, I saw, like, sitting on, like, concrete floors and that. How often have you sat on a concrete floor? I don't know. I'm a big fan of sitting. Do you think it was just random that you just got your asshole Yeah, infested? maybe like I strained when I pooped as a kid. But I do remember being a young lad having to get suppositories in my butthole to poop. And then I would get a toy for getting... That seems sp- like a terrible trade-off. <laughs> <laughs> you get So you lose your dad, you get some suppositories, and you get a toy out of it? Yeah, I, just, I think I was getting pimped out. You, should, you could have easily worked in a draft pick. Or a couple toys. Yeah, exactly. I got a Buzz Lightyear toy the one year. This new movie came out. Really? It's on Disney. <laughs> I got to get some suppositories in before I can see it. <laughs> but we're going for free. I um, I, Have you ever seen the show The Boys on Amazon Prime? No, nah, I don't have Amazon. I don't support Bezos. It's pretty good, but it's about like... So it's about like regular people and there's like superheroes in this universe, but they're all like mm-hmm. corrupt and shitty people. Mm-hmm. And they're like, and the one guy kills a lot of people. He's like the Spoiler Superman alert. of them. No, you find out in the first episode. Spoiler alert. But so these guys, like these guys come up with a plan to try and kill all the superheroes. And Just regular nine to fivers? Yeah. Like this one. So in the first episode, like it follows this guy, Huey, he's like. He's married. He's like with his girlfriend. He works at like a like a Radio Shack kind of thing. Okay. And he gets run. She gets run through by the guy who plays the Flash. Like he was chasing after somebody, uh-huh. and he just ran right through her. Like she blew up, died. Like and then um he wanted to kill. Like joins them. Don't fuck with a Radio Shack lifer. Yeah, and then like the, all the other guys are like in the CIA and stuff, and they want to kill him because they're corrupt. And so, who's and, more powerful, the CIA guys or the Radio Shack guy? The CIA guys. But so, the guy that plays like, um, so in the first episode of the new season that just came out, it's the third season. Uh huh. Um, there's a superhero that can turn himself like, like, really small, like this big, and he is having. This is the opening scene of this third season. He takes a guy back, you know, like have gay sex, have Pride Month. Yeah. And he crawls into this guy's asshole. Like, he turned himself small. And he's walking around this guy's asshole. And they accidentally got big. And he just blew up the guy. And it was insane. It was the first scene. It Why was, was just, he in the asshole? I don't know. Maybe. No, it probably felt good for the other guy. I don't know. But he was just, like, walking around this dude's asshole. The superhero? Yeah. And then he gets That big. sounds like a villain. <laughs> yeah, and he was. And the CIA guy caught him. He made, he like he got the guy, he got the little guy. It was hilarious. He got the guy. He put him in a bag of cocaine and just shook it around so the guy would overdose. It was nuts. How do you OD on cocaine, dude? You can't. But Outside it's a TV. Land- <laughs> it's a TV show. It's super. <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. It's all. Fake. I was about to say that's not real, is it? Outside of Len Bias, no one's OD'd on it. Yeah, the biggest bust in NBA history. Don't fucking bring this back. Who's back of the week? It's not Len Bias. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude, he's not the fucking biggest bust yes, in NBA is. history because he died. Yes. It's a waste of a number three overall pick. Yes, but there's worse. A fucking, uh, oh, what's his name? Who, who, uh, Sheem oh, beat? Marvin Bagley. Not a bust. Yeah, he's a bust. He averaged 14 and 9. He's got stone feet. <laughs> no, that's, he's got uh, stone feet. that's Kwame. <laughs> no. Kwame had little hands. Kwame Brown bust. Who won a ring? Yeah. If you win a ring, are you a bust? No. Adam Morrison? Nope. <laughs> Darko? Nope. He won a ring before LeBron and D Wade and Melo. Darko is probably still a bigger bust than. Nope. Yeah. Nope. You see who got picked behind him? Yeah. 
They would have went mellow. You want a ring before mellow. <laughs> they didn't need mellow. They didn't need him. Then who would they have taken? Bosch? They took the guy that they needed. They took the a position that forward? they needed. You could have went Bosch. He was a center. Darko's bigger than Bosch. Yeah, but Darko was a power forward. He was a center. He was a power forward. He was forward. a center. He was what, 6'10"? He played center. Did they even need a center? No. They had Ben. <laughs> they had Ben Wallace. My point? Yeah. And you know what? They won't ring that year. I saw they asked Chauncey Billups when they knew that he would be a bust, and he said the first practice. Yeah. They said that campaign was good. Uh, Chicago Bulls coaching staff, hey, watch campaign practice. <laughs> Cam, Cam Artist Band? The campaign, yeah, and uh, my son's. Elite dancer. He's not that bad. No, he's not bad. He, like, left and he came back and got better. Yeah. But he His was, dancing he was, was Russ ass. for elite. Yeah. Yeah, Russ is great. He's going to do well this next year. Don't fucking talk about the Lakers. Why? I saw a thing. Who's the worst at... Uh, LeBron's hyping up the Warriors. He wants to go there so bad, dude. I saw a thing. He said he wanted to go there. I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> he wants to go to Warriors. Can't go. What would you do? Be a Warriors fan. Yeah, you're such a pussy. <laughs> I'd be a Warriors, but I'd... I think if he went to Golden State, that... I think I'd probably root for the Kings more then. No, you wouldn't. I'm not a really a Golden State fan. Unless Wiggins stays. He's going to stay there. Why would he leave? He's in the championship. Maple Jordan, baby. He's getting finals MVP. No, he's not. Curry <laughs> scored 40 in <laughs> Um, But Draymond's getting roasted on Twitter. Like, worse than usual. He plays the game like... Uh, he averages 2 one on one Yeah, and how he has more fouls than points. He's got more podcasts than points. Yeah. He plays like an AI, like in your What fucking loser? Season. Who podcasts? Yeah, right? Who the fuck's podcasting? <laughs> yeah, what a loser? That's when you know you hit rock idiot. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, he's our fucking rival now. Yeah. But he plays like an AI in a 2K season. Like Curry yeah, just hits just X. For pass. Curry hits X and he just throws it to him. <laughs> Did you ever... Um, my buddy Dick, we, when we used to play basketball at Fireman's in high school, mm-hmm. like right after, like all summer, I remember after senior year, we would just go to Fireman's and play basketball like every day. Mm-hmm. And he would only overhead pass. Like, whenever anybody asked him to, like, throw a normal pass, he would say no. And he would just only overhead. And that's what I think Draymond does every time. Is that better than a bounce pass? No. Bounce overhead pass, passes are ridiculous. Bounce passes are the what? Second Dan best. Dan quote. Second best pass. Bounce passes are scoring passes. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't throw they're chest tu- passes. They're turnover passes. Yeah. You ever try and bounce pass in the paint? It's ugly. Yeah, that's all he wanted. You know how hard it is to get the ball? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> just throw it. Just throw it to the hand. So, uh, kickball. We played an electric game. We did defensive. We got two games. That's this how week. we have to win defensive games. I know. We play we couldn't have played a better defensive game. We locked up defensively on the infield. Um, I broke them. When I when I took off for third. Oh yeah 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 that broke him mentally. Yeah. Them in the sixth inning trying to kick three straight to first base wasn't a great game. Plan. I don't know they like kept kicking it to Danielle and James and then they were like okay those guys are locking us up over there. They're Let's kick everything. to first. Let's kick to the biggest guy uh, on either team. I got from first to second base. I'm locked. Yeah I know they. They started kicking to you, then you caught everything, then they went to... Like, the first thing was only at you. Anytime I've gotten the ball, I've gotten an out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, my... Def- you Kickball's might be- so fun, though. It's a great time. You might be right on the Andre Roberson comparison. Yeah, you are. I batted one for one, though. You only kicked... Oh, yeah, you were late. Legal kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, legal <laughs> kick. <laughs> You're the only person in the entire game to get an illegal kick. I know. I was the only person <laughs> in the league <laughs> to get an illegal kick. Did I take off that far? Dude, you were like, like she made the box, like, so you got some space in front of the plate. Yeah. Like probably like two more steps. And you were about four more steps outside the box. It was such a slow moving pitch. Oh yeah, I know. It sucks just waiting for the ball. So that shouldn't be on me. That should have just been a ball. It was bad. But also in kickball, these people I hate. If you fucking take pitches. I know, right? You could take one. Dude, we played softball on Wednesday, and Zach got injured, so Triggs was caught pitching. Uh-huh. 
and we were winning the entire game. Wait, how did he get hurt? He, t- the guy, so we use a hard ball now instead uh-huh. of like that soft one. The guy lined it off of his knee. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, and he had the stitch of the ball in his knee. He got fucking nailed. <laughs> How long is he out? No, he kept he kept hitting, but he just couldn't field. Is he playing kickball? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so Triggs was covering for pitching, and we were winning up until the last inning, mm-hmm. and they took walks, and the guy took a walk, and then... He was like, walk next. And the girl was like, I want to hit. And he goes, no, take the walk. And so they all just kept taking walks. And softball is so hard to throw three straight strikes. Yeah, you just. just so you can go up there and walk every time. Yeah. And these guys just literally just were like, fuck it. We can't, we can't hit the ball, so we're just going to walk. You go there. It's the most annoying thing ever. Yeah. Fuck those people. They take the men's league too seriously. Or the. Yeah. The all league. Like they took the bat out of the girl's hands. Just fucking hit the ball. <laughs> It's a beer league. There was a heavier person, and Triggs goes, that girl should be playing roller derby. (laughs) Jesus, fuck. It was the most insane (laughs) chirp I've ever heard. God damn it. I love that, man. It was insane. Yeah, don't take pitches. Just swing, hit. Taking a pitch in kickball is like a record low. Yeah, it it has to be so far out. Yeah. If if it's so far out. If it's on the opposite end of the plate yeah then i guess maybe a slow ball so you don't get an illegal kick that illegal kick would have been an rbi single <laughs> no they caught it <laughs> no it didn't it bounced oh did it yeah it bounced past the third baseman yeah illegal kick i'm one for four with bases loaded in yeah the that's, advanced that's not good <laughs> with a bloop <laughs> yeah i'm sorry you're gonna be batting low again Come on. King. I'm not ninth, though. You had an illegal kick. But what was my other kick? It was a hit. You run You run great, though. You look great, Ryan. I'm you, a run great... Like a, you run like a giraffe that has Down syndrome. Thank you. Are giraffes fast? I don't know. I can get around those bases. It just looks hilarious to watch you, though. I haven't got an opportunity to dive at bases. You don't for the first game on defense. Yeah, but on the bases. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Your we play that same hit. team again. Yeah, we got to we gotta take it, though. They were screaming at each other on the bench. I know. Did They're, you hear me in the outfield? You know, we broke them. <laughs> Their coach was great, though. Yeah, Darnell. He's a good dude. He's a great coach. I uh, Like, if they beat us, he deserves coach. I've known him. He's, he's a very nice guy. Great guy. Dude, it's all part of the plan. Kickball Not- might have been the best thing we've done this summer, though. I fucking love it. Yeah, it's my favorite league to be in. Work Working after kickball sucks. Yeah. Being up all day, but it's so worth it. I'll quit my job before I quit kickball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But well, now, since I'm hitting singles, teams are going to come in, and that's when the moonshot's coming. I don't know if you're going to deliver a moonshot, okay? You got to stop kicking at the first base. <laughs> I kicked at the third both times. <laughs> <laughs> the first game, you had four at-bats, three with the bases loaded, and you kicked at the first up like a mile in the air. Yeah. If there wasn't two outs, I moved the base runners. No, if it's in the infield. <laughs> That's the goal. You got to move the base runners. Yeah, that was that was an electric game, though. I'm still happy we won. 2-1. One. We're 1-1 one one now. We got a doubleheader this week. Dude, fuck. Kickball's great. On the seventh day, God created kickball. Um, Emily, got any random thoughts? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Random thoughts with Emily's off. Oh, what about the wavy baby shoes Tyga made? I have no idea what those are. What about Andrew Tate? What do you guys um, say about him? I, can you tell us who Andrew Tate is? Can you give us a little background? I got to talk about the wavy baby shoes first. You know Tyga has an OnlyFans? Yep. You know who his biggest fan is? Oh. DJ Academics. Like rap wise or like OnlyFans? Only fans. Because he was talking about how he was admiring Tiger's stroke game on OnlyFans. No way. Or on Tiger fans, yeah. These are the wavy babies. Oh my god, those are so ugly. But I don't know if I love them or not. I hate them. Please never get a pair. Like, I want a pair. <laughs> how much do they cost? Probably like 90 bucks, 100 bucks. That's not bad. That's not worth it for those. I'll give them for 40. They even have a disclaimer about how bad they are for your back. 
Those shoes? Well, you see them? You see how bad they look for your body? Yeah. I want to play kickball on them. <laughs> what, you gonna, what shoes are you going to wear this time? You already know what I'm wearing for the field. Air Force. No. Oh. I wear oh, the New Balances. I, New Balances. No. What? You wear New Balances week one. No, I didn't. What I wear the all-black Nike Monarchs. Oh, yeah. that's For the is. wide foot. <laughs> That's why the field's why, on lock. Yeah, that's why it's a legal kick. You're fit. You're fit. Yeah. That's just why, too big. That's why first base is on lock because, dude. You do look extremely agile. Well, when that. you get the stains on the shoes, it just boosts your superpowers up. That's, I did read that. Yeah, it's like, especially when I'm waiting to go in the field, you get those grass stains on. Dude, if they put a grill in the field, I'd be batting 100. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what you got hope for, though. That's the only way you're going to get over first base. Dude, I'm going to kick a moonshot. If you things. get it into the outfield and get an extra base hit, I'll move you up. I could easily get it in the outfield. I don't think you could. Just aim for the angels. If you get, if you get in the outfield and nobody catches it. But that's the thing. I'm kicking smart. <laughs> I should be batting the leadoff. Nope. That yeah. way I can't have the bases loaded. <laughs> Why? I'm batting 100 without the bases loaded. <laughs> Are you scared of the pressure? That's the thing. Your first kick, bases loaded, that's a nightmare. Yeah, it sets the tone though. You could have, we could have won that game if you if you got like we had a couple, one hit with the bases on. You can't think like that though. A couple errors defensively, you know what I mean? It just happens. Yeah. It took us a minute, but we fi- we figured ourselves out. Yeah, we know our identity. We're winning. Two, we're a defensive We're winning team. two one games. We are a defensive team first. We need to get two runs and we win. Uh, dude, I think next game we could get one. I, the only reason they scored last game was because that dude kept leading off. And then I told Sadie, and then she called him out. Yeah, we got a couple calls. We, For the first time ever, we got some right calls on our side. Yeah. Well, I like walked over to her. I was like, dude, watch this guy next time he bats because he's leading off. And she's like, all right. And then he let off again, and then she called him out. And then they freaked out. Yeah. That's what broke them. I broke them. <laughs> if you could bet on FanDuel on our game, <laughs> bet the under. Yeah, always. You're we're like uh, we're like the Rangers, <laughs> we're like the New York Rangers. We you're got you're Igor. Your skin. Dude, I'll, I'll take that. Igor, I'll take the Igor comparison. Nothing gets mad gets past me at first. I know it's crazy. That side of the field's locked. You have any bets placed? Um, well, we got the Bandits game tonight. You can't bet on the Bandits. I know. But, God, I'm fucking ready. I would have bet the fucking house. The apartment. Dude, isn't it crazy that the Bandits, the Bills, and the Sabres are all going to win a championship in the same year? Oh. <laughs> Do you want the Bandits to lose so they get the home game? Kind of, but, like, I don't care. I don't, I mean. Free lacrosse. Yeah. I mean, no, because we'd have to pay to go to the game, but. <laughs> Free lacrosse. Yeah. Uh, I haven't watched a full lacrosse game since I went to the Bandits game last when I was, like, 13. Um, I remember going to a Bandits game when I was in, like, high school. It was electric. Like, yeah, oh, they're great. Fun. Yeah, I don't know why I don't go. Like, they're cheap, too. They're cheap as shit. Yeah, I don't know why we never go. Like, all the – I mean, now the Sabres are a wagon, but before uh, pre-wagon era, why weren't their ticket prices the same as the Bandits? I have no idea. It costs 30 bucks to go to a playoff game. Bison's games are pretty cheap, too, and those are always fun, too. Yeah. But baseball's long. There's not a lot of scoring, but, like, it's still fun. Like, I like, like bandits, you got action. Yeah. People like, whacking each other with sticks. It's kind of, like, peaceful, though, sitting out at a baseball stadium. Yeah. Like, if, I went to the Pirates Stadium before. Yeah. And their park was so nice. Yeah, it's like meditation. Yeah, it's sick. You find yourself at But, baseball. like, watching baseball on TV kind of sucks. Yeah, it's boring. The it's Yankees, sick. though. They're wagon. fucking nuts. Wagon. Dude, they I was watching the game the other day. They were down five to one in like the sixth inning or something. They won the game like eight to five. Yeah. And that was with their starting pitcher giving up back to back to back home runs. Yeah. Start the game. Yeah, they're pretty good. Better than one at all. Yeah. Um definitely minus odds, but fuck it. What else was I gonna say about the bandits? I totally forgot. Slipped my mind can't the love. Draft room, right? Or the little bat house, whatever it's, it's called. called. Draft room, but no. that's like, that's like uh, the little bat house too. They had went there. Oh, fucking blur out. Just get pissed.
went there, blurred out. Yeah. <laughs> they said that the uh, they said it's really nice in there. I've never been inside. So it's, it's always nice. mobbed after like games and shit. It's gonna be mobbed tonight. It's a watch party, King. Oh, I'll be there. I'm going. Well, I'm going with you. Yeah. I. Uh, Who's driving there? Um, no idea. <laughs> All right, I'm taking. I'm definitely out. not driving. I'm gonna get hammered. It's my night. Do you think? Can. What? You think your girlfriend will? I have no clue. That'd be huge. Um, what do you think the That's score the, is going to be tonight? It was 15-14 last game. Uh, low scoring, 13-11, Bandits win. You think so? Yeah, call it. And then we're going to go to the parade? Yeah, oh yeah. I wonder if they, they're going to do like a little parade or some shit. They have to. I know, they have to. Take him to docs. Oh, Ryan Miller. So oh, I yeah. want to read you about this. Oh, I Do you said, think he deserves it? Yes or no? 100%. Yeah. He was, he's was. he got Vesna Trophy. He he's also got, carried USA Hockey. Yeah, year. I know. Well, I, that guy tweeted, so when so, the news broke, this guy see, tweeted, I mean, okay, sure, I guess. And then I said, bad tweet. He made, early, he made kids in the early 2000s love hockey. Go kick rocks, Chad. I'm trying to get banned by all, blocked by all Sabres media at this point. Yeah. So and, I, and I got blocked by Mike Harrington. I want to get blocked by Jerry Sullivan. I wonder if he still has me blocked. I'm going to check. Um, Will our friend ever get blocked by Steve Tasker is the real question. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, he's still going to be blocked. But uh, Chad over here tweeted that he thinks that players – not only in hockey. He doesn't just mean this about the Zabers doing it. Okay. He said that only players that were the best at their position on this team, on their team, should get their numbers retired. I mean, he was the best goalie on the team. Not ever. Hashtag was better. Mm, I get what he's saying. I don't think – he said the only players that should have their numbers retired for Sabres should be all, the French Connection and – Hashik, that's it. And maybe Jenneret, I guess. I would still say, like, retire Briere. No, he only played here for four years. But. Drury only played three. Just retire him. Retire Campbell for the hit. He said, um, I think retired numbers are the guys who were the best to play at their position, like, ever. Like, Hashik, just now, it, just how I see it, it's fine that they're doing it. I think you should retire fan favorites, too. I think so, too. Like, I think like have your own section, like the fan favorite section. Yeah, I, I mean, think like, that'd be cool as shit. I think Miller deserves it though. Like he did, he carried this team. Oh this yeah, he played that year that they lost to the Hurricanes. They only had three defensemen on their roster. Yeah, he backpacked. They were, they were winning games. Like that's yeah. crazy. They should have won Game Six. Yeah, he. Uh, They're up two zero. They had an AHL defender and two regular ones and Ryan Miller. And that's yeah, it. he was a stud. He deserves it. He 100% does. I think that guy can go kick rocks. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck you. Fuck Mike Harrington for having me blocked. I tweeted one joke at him. That was the only time I ever t- tweeted at him, too. Wait, what'd you tweet? He tweeted that the Sabres really need to stop showing fans chugging beers on the Jumbotron. Oh, what a fucking And then I tweeted the meme boomer. where it said, old man yells at Cloud. <laughs> And he blocked me. <laughs> I hate people that think that. Or I got like 40 favorites. You know so what? He was, probably, he was getting ratioed. Fuck the guy at uh, the one baseball game when they make the towers of the beer. And he came up and knocked it over and walked away. Like, fuck people like that. Yeah. I just, dude, did you see that? The Rangers and the Lightning guy? Oh, the knockout? Yeah, dude. That was a dirty fuck. I don't know punch. what side I'm on. Because you don't know how long that dude was yelling at him for. Well, he, apparently, someone was trying to stop him. He uh-huh. knocked that person out, too. Oh. And then uh, he fought somebody outside. So he's oh. he's a violent man. Okay. But that lightning guy was chirping him. You have to know you're in New York City. Yeah. That was a dirty hit, though. Yeah, it was he, completely He didn't even dirty. give him a chance. But if he was knocking himself. out multiple people, that means the outcome might have been the same. Yeah. He was just angry. Yeah. Part of the thing is, like, you're in New York City. You don't the chirp New York City people. I, the lightning are going in. Yeah. Who wins it all, Avalanche or Lightning? I think the Lightning are going to three-peat. I don't know. Dude, they're so fucking good. So, Vasilevsky, before this series, after a loss, he his save percentage is like 9-9-8 or something like that. Like he's, and he has like 16 shutouts. Dude, the Avs are good. 
Yeah, they are. Going I get four hundred bucks if he has one. I don't think they're gonna win. Dude, they're a wagon though. Dude, the Lightning though, they're a dynasty. They're nuts. Yeah, I don't know nothing about. What about the hockey. NBA? What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, Warriors and seven. You think so? Yeah. Wiggins is gonna hit don't a game bet against Maple Wiggins. Jordan. Wiggins is gonna hit a game winning three to seal it. Well, the cum bucket is not gonna lose in the finals. I think the cum bucket should play over Draymond at this point. Yeah, honestly. Like, the last time we got minutes, he had what nineteen or seventeen against the Mavs. Yeah, he sparked the run. He back. put up twenty against the Grizzlies. Out. Yeah, point. get Bro, him back. Cum bucket's in. nice. Hmm. He's super athletic. That's what they need in the series. Someone that's just athletic that can guard. Do you, do you want the Warriors to win or do you want Boston? Like if you had to pick, go into your head. Uh, Curry has three rings, right? Yes. All right, so he has the same amount as LeBron if he wins. Maple Jordan gets one. I'm rooting for Golden State. I'm also rooting for Golden State just because I hate Boston. I hate the fans. Yeah, like I like Tatum and I like Jalen Brown. I like, I like Smart, Smart too. too. But like, I don't really like Al Horford <laughs> and no. I don't really like Boston. <laughs> No. Like if a Boston team loses, I'm happy. Yeah. They're all racist scumbags. Like you know, like like Tatum's really good, but they'd prefer to have a white guy out there. Scoring. Yeah, they want Larry Bird to suit up every game. And I like Larry Bird too. He was sick. Yeah, but they're the same fans that like Ravens fans, like that are still talking like how they prefer Joe Flacco instead of uh Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Did you see this one guy? He was a reporter for um the Steelers. He tweeted years ago, like during that draft with Mason Rudolph. Mm-hmm. Tweeted Mason, Mason Rudolph will be a better quarterback than Lamar Jackson. Remember this tweet? And then after, then two days ago, I think he tweeted Kenny Pickett will be a better quarterback than Lamar Jackson. Remember this tweet? <sighs> God, damn so he's getting ratioed. Yeah, he he deserves the ratio. That's back. Uh, I remember when people were saying when Duck Hodges was the next thing. He was better than Josh Allen. That was PFF. PFF should have been canceled. I fucking hate PFF. What stats do they go off of? I have no idea. They're nerds. They're just idiots. Chris Collinsworth is also a fucking idiot. I can't yeah. stand when he's on TV. I hate that. TV. He said. Uh, he said they go after Josh Allen's knees. He also said uh, John or John Wall and Westbrook never made teammates better. That's not true. John Wall got Otto Marcy Porter Jr. Gortat. Yeah, and Otto Porter Jr. Max deals. He's not. He's not bad. Which, uh, prime John Wall was a tank. Can't shoot. He was good though. Couldn't shoot at all. He made the fucking Reebok zigzag shoes popular. The I mean, yeah, he was sick though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. He's he's a bag stealer now. He's like kind of Chandler Parsons. Dude, he had the best quote of all time. At Kentucky, where he walked into a party and said, What's up? I'm John Wall. Who wants to suck my dick? <laughs> he was getting consent back then, too. Shout out John Wall. Shout out John Wall. Had a threesome that night, too. It was his first night on campus. Dude, that's ridiculous. Um, So, we really need to talk about Will Sennett as being the best Twitter account. Yeah. Do you want to just read tweets from him? Yeah, so this chick tweeted, Not to be a whiny... Uh, slang term for a uh, lesbian woman but i'm having one of the roughest weeks of my life so if you're a number one grace fan shout out in my comments and he replied and said my face will be the last thing you see on this earth <laughs> he's just fucking ridiculous can you read the one by his grandfather that you sent me the one recently yeah it was yesterday at 655 Ghost of my grandfather. Listen to me, boy. There's not much time. Me, pause. Sorry, but it's whack that Mima was seven years younger than you. And also, I think communism is mad awesome. <laughs> Dude, so I saw something yesterday that really like pissed me off. So, uh, Barstool. Have you ever seen that chick, uh, Brianna Chicken Fry? She's like part of like Dave Ch- Chicken Fry, I think her name is. She's like part of Dave Portnoy's BFF podcast first of all that's a dumb podcast it's an awful podcast but she's part of it and she had like a girl filling in for dave uh-huh. and they were talking about um millie bobby brown the chick that plays 11 on stranger things yeah she did oh, hot ones yeah and they're like i think she's kind of a bitch and they were like talking shit about it and it's like dude she's like if she wasn't like a famous actress she'd be a senior in high school like yeah. it's so weird yeah like 
That's just like American culture. You just hate on people. But like you don't need to talk you. about like kids. Like it's weird. Yeah. Like people talk about um, like I watch Stranger Things. I love that show. But the one kid that uh, plays Mike, he's supposed to be like this dumbass kid, like because he's like sixteen in the show or whatever. Yeah. And he uh was in an argument with Millie Bobby Brown's character. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, he's terrible at acting and stuff. And it's like, dude, like, he's, he's 16. Yeah, like, he's barely a legal adult. Like, he's in, that's what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, it's like watching Disney Channel and hating fucking Zack and Cody's performance. Yeah. Like, it's weird to judge kids on what they do. Yeah. I think that's... It, and The like, kids are making way more money than they are. And that chick, Brianna Chicken Fresh, is like, our age. Like, you don't need to be... Ta- like, I don't come on here and talk shit about little little kids and what they do. Yeah. Like, I watch shitty movies all the time, but they're grown adults that suck. Yeah, adults suck. And Dave Portnoy, I... I he weirds me out. Him doing that show is weird. It's like he's trying to attract 18-year-old girls. That's exactly what he's trying to do. He's yeah. trying to get... He's trying to get with, like... Like, talk about, like, TikTok, like, stars. Yeah. He has that one guy, Josh Richards, on there. He, yeah. seems, he seems all right. He's a Bills fan. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a cool guy, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's on there. Good dude in my book. Yeah. It's going to come out tomorrow that he fucking killed a family of four, but <laughs> he's still a good guy I remember right we did now. a full show of stuff on Diggs jersey. I was like, you know what? He's all right. I don't care what he does. Mark it in the book. Good guy. Yeah. But I don't know if he does it to piss Dave, off, Dave Portnoy off, but he's, like, he's a Bills fan. Yeah. But he, uh, yeah, it's weird because he's like twenty, and like the Dave's reason? like forty five, and Dave's girlfriend's also like twenty. I didn't even know he has a girlfriend. Dude, you got. Dude. Well, in fairness, when you have a bunch of money, but like he's like that's 50. what you do. But like you can, he's always had like a weird like sexual like track. That's record. what you do when you have a ton of money. You go at young, young like look at Drake. Drake was talking to Sism when she was seventeen. That's weird. That's just what it is in this culture. Uh, you looking her up? Yeah. Dude, she looks young. I know. She doesn't even look 20. Yeah, she's... She looks like she could be acting in Stranger Things. Yeah, she's, like, young. It's weird. Yeah, good for Dave. I guess. But I did watch this one... Dude, so there's this TikTok that went around on Twitter... It was this chick, and she was, like, 19 or 20. Uh-huh. And she was – she's dating this guy that's, like, 50. And she he used to be her tennis coach in high school. Yeah, that's weird to me. So, like, she graduated high sc- – She I watched the whole TikTok. So she said she graduated high school, then didn't talk to him for, like, a year, and then saw him, and then they started dating. And people are in the comments, they're like – Oh, it's okay. You love who you love. And then other people are like, dude, that's weird as hell. He probably thought she was And then hot. she's like, my parents hate it. Like, I'm sure they'll come around, though. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> like, just doubling down. Just going to pick her up and you're the it's same weird. age as her dad. It's weird. And then she's like, oh, my God. I wish I, I, wish I still had her TikTok name. Does saved. he have money or something? I don't think so. Like, that's just, it's mind-boggling to me. Like, there's no, there's hardly any 20-year-old men that are with 53-year-old women. No. It's so weird. It's always the other age around, or, or other way around. Yeah, I don't know. I fucking... I don't like it. I don't like it either. And you should see the guy. He looks creepy as shit. Well, you have to And be. she looks like she's fucking... Like, if you saw... Like, she looks like a girl that would go to Starbucks, like, with her heavier friends. That's it. <laughs> like, she'd be the one skinny girl, and there's, like, a group of them. <laughs> what they look like just fucking i actually went out to dinner yesterday at temp it's an insane fucking analogy <laughs> i went to Templeton. but i have a perfect image in my head of her i went to templeton yesterday this place by the water for my dinner uh-huh. and uh it was like a nice place yeah and there are these it was just a group of women behind me and i'm just gonna you can pitch you can picture them however you want after what I say. Okay. But so me and my girlfriend are here. They're like here. They're like bah, like directly behind us. So yeah. I'm hearing everything they say. It's like four of them. They all look about the same, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. And uh, they 
the one thing that I remember that stuck in my head, I was like, yeah, these girls are something. They, the one girl goes, I don't drink water. I only drink it to go get rid of my headaches throughout the day. Okay. So imagine someone that really loves sugar. <laughs> <laughs> So she drinks water. No, she takes a few sips to get rid of her headache because she's so dehydrated from not drinking water <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> she's got life down to a yeah, science. She's got di- she's got the whole diet thing figured out. That's fair. If you don't like something, just do it. <laughs> just do really? it a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> my, little, my little brother used to never drink water. Except pan water. Yeah, pan water. I wanted to bring a pan water. He would fill up this big, giant fucking thing. You would cook, like, packets of pasta in. Yeah. <laughs> fill it up to the top and see how much you could chug and then dump the rest. He would, yeah, you would just chug pan I actually participated in one of his pan water chugs before. <laughs> They're insane. It's, it's, <laughs> it's intense. It's an ins- I, I have to have a video of it. It's just an insane lifestyle. <laughs> But now, now he drinks water, like, regularly. He got better about it. I definitely have a video. Of, yeah. Keep yeah. in mind, I'm, it's half a phone. I'm so glad he doesn't have that stupid fucking haircut anyway. <laughs> That's so much. Like after, Is the camera on it? <laughs> no. Put, put it on. Show it for the camera. Jake, you gotta turn the light towards me. But why? Why? <laughs> you know it's Pride Month. Yeah. It can go wherever it wants. All right. You're right. I'm making them see pan water. All right. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. All the, all the people on YouTube can decipher this video. You got half a screen. Yeah, I know, right? Are you ever going to get a new phone? Or are you just going to wait for it to die? What's up, Emily? Is your brother going to be okay with that being on No, he doesn't give a shit. He won't care. He doesn't care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> he just would rather know what the lock tonight is. Yeah, he, he just if we tell him <laughs> if we tell him the bandits are on FanDuel, that's all he'll care about. He would have a bigger issue if we bet the over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to bring up. The big thing, the big trend, like the all carnivore diet people. How they're eating like raw hearts and that. What? You see those people? They're eating like raw animal heart, raw liver. No, I've never. Because they're that. living like our ancestors. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it seems cool, but this guy's shirtless everywhere, and he'll go to the store and be like, "Tea's bullshit because of this and that. Coconuts are bullshit." And he's like, <laughs> "Where do I find these?" That's so funny. And then he'll go through why they're bullshit. My favorite two were. He was talking about how one was deodorants bullshit. And the only, because bad smell comes from what you eat. Mm-hmm. So, you, but you, so you don't need deodorant. But if you work in an office setting, just put apple cider vinegar on your armpits. <laughs> My other favorite was toothpaste is bullshit. You don't need to brush your teeth at all because a bad smell comes from your stomach. Dude, we talked about that one guy from uh, Love is Blind. Yeah. Made his own toothpaste. Yeah, remember that guy? That was fucking wild. I've seen him on his, uh, that on like insane cheapskates, and it's like you're saving eight cents, dude. Toothpaste costs less than a dollar to buy. Yeah, just fucking live off a travel size one. And he was rich. Like he yeah. was like an engineer or something too. It's always the rich people that spend the less. Yeah, I know. It's like, dude. Yeah, that he, one dude freaked me out though. That fucking veterinarian guy. I forgot his name. Yeah, he had like an all black room. It was terrifying. Yeah, that's he's got some demons. <laughs> I thought it was funny at first. He was like, I just want a girl I could put on my shoulders. And then he got weird. Yeah. Well, you knew it was going to come. Yeah. You just have to... Don't cry because it's over of him being cool. Just smile because it happened. You got any, any other closing thoughts? Oh, I do have one closing thought, actually. All right. Hold up. I got to find it. Is it about foxes having sex? I don't want to think about that. Like right now or ever again? Ever again, preferably. So, ah, oh, fuck. I thought I had it. I'm about to get it, though. Congrats on the sex. There are drive through liquor stores in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> there are also several bodies of water that are too big to be ponds. 
and too small to be creaks that emit a noise that only children could hear that causes them to wade into the murky depths to drown themselves. (laughs) (laughs) It's the best tweet ever. Then someone goes, do they sell cigarellos there? And are the kids okay? And he goes, yes and no. (laughs) And then the guy tweeted back a small price to pay. (laughs) (laughs) It's the funniest fucking tweet ever. So that's my closing thought today. All right. Well, go bandits.